understood and so uh, this uh, ideograms it is the signature of Chinese language and then um, the anarchy and the commotion of the 60s were given voice in the exploding exclamation marks writers capital letters and all uh, see I told you uh, in in the writings of the 60s uh, they were a people who were very rebellious and so in the writings of the 60s you will see double exclamation marks and question marks understood and so if you see a piece of writing uh, with double exclamation marks and double question marks uh, it is you have to understand that it is indicative of the culture of the 60s to indicate the aggressive uh, energetic nature of the 60s or even the anarchy of the 60s and then uh, coming to the next paragraph that is the point punctuation is the notation in the sheet music of our words telling us when to rest or when to raise our voices it acknowledges that the meaning of our discourse as of any symphonic composition lies not in the uses in in the units but in the poses uh, and so that is again i have explained to you uh, when i uh, explained to you the fifth point that is punctuation marks are compared with the notation in the musical sheet in the musical sheet uh, you will see uh, the signs where high pitch should be used low pitch should be used where to stop and so on the musical notation similarly punctuation also gives the same effect uh, it will tell the reader or uh, uh, when that uh, the particular thing should stop uh, isn't it uh, the correct meaning is conveyed uh, and so punctuation is the notation in the sheet music of our words telling us when to rest or when to raise our voices uh, and so punctuation gives all the meanings that is needed for the reader to understand the text and so remember uh, when he says that when uh, I hear compares punctuation marks with the notation in the musical sheet what does he mean he says that punctuation gives the full meaning it gives us the human voice and all the meanings that lie between the words understood and so punctuation gives us the human voice and all the meanings that lie between the words are uh, the full meaning we are getting whatever the writer um, uh, thinks the reader is getting a full idea of what the writer intends and then coming to the next paragraph the example we have already seen punctuation in short in the last part of the page the last paragraph beginning punctuation in short gives us the human voice and all the meanings that lie between the words okay you aren't young are you question mark loses its innocence when it loses the question mark isn't it i imagine the sentence like this you aren't young come are you full stop ah and then you aren't young are you ah see a, a great difference is there only when the question mark comes there the reader will be getting the full meaning of the sentence and then every child knows the menace of a dropped apostrophe the parents don't do that shifting into the more slowly enunciated do not do that ah see ah when you are telling the child the parent telling the child ah do not eat sweets do not do that ah the child will not take it seriously but that uh, that apostrophe is very much important don't do it don't eat sweets don't shout a uh, d o n apostrophe t that apostrophe is very important it becomes an order only when that apostrophe is there and so the full meaning is conveyed to the reader and then uh, uh, in the next paragraph again a continuation but see the uh, line 
popping in a coma can be like slipping on the necklace that gives an outfit quite elegance see you know how to dress up for the occasions uh, but when you are uh, uh, when you are dressed up for an elegant uh, style in an elegant style for such a, a solemn occasion a uh, slipping on the necklace will adds to that will add to that elegance isn't it uh, you know how to dress up for, for different occasions when you are going for a solemn function uh, for a uh, for a very important function a uh, slipping on the necklace adds to the grandeur of your dressing similarly proper use of uh, punctuation marks gives extra beauty to the sentence then see the last part of the same paragraph last uh, when vs naipaul in his latest novel writes see he was a middle aged man comma with glasses ah uh, see see that sentence he was a middle aged man comma with glasses what does it mean naipaul vs naipaul the great writer ah uh, he is writing about a middle aged man ah uh, he says that Uh, he is somebody ah uh, he mentions that person is a middle aged man and another speciality is that he had spectacles remove the comma he was a middle aged man with glasses remove that comma the meaning is different then it means that he was a middle aged man with glasses meaning ah uh, because he was middle aged because of the age he is wearing glasses see the difference the first vs naipaul says he was a middle aged man comma with glasses idea is very suggestive and there with glasses means that is a speciality of this person he is middle aged plus he is one wearing glasses maybe even from his young age but if there is no comma he was a middle aged man with glasses it means Ah, uh, this fellow is middle aged, and so it is very natural that he has to wear glasses. See the difference that a small comma makes. And then uh, the uh, coming to the next paragraph, words cannot bend and curve. Ah, uh, see uh, that again a continuation uh, of the same point. That is, words by themselves they cannot bend or curve. actually the different shades of meaning the sentence gets by by the proper punctuation marks see uh, if i am talking to you do uh, uh, with speech modulations with rising and falling intonation i can give you different shades of meaning see when i am talking to you Ah, see, I can raise my voice. I can lower my voice. All these things are possible, but in a written language, words themselves cannot do anything. Actually, the punctuations, ah, the punctuations are doing this. Ah, they give the full meaning to the reader. The different voice modulations. It is revealed by the proper use of. Uh, uh punctuations ah uh, in a written language the reader can get the full shade of meaning that is intended by the writer only when proper punctuations are used uh and then uh, some more examples are given and then uh you come to the last part the last paragraph punctuation then is a matter of care care for words Yes, but also and more important for what the words imply. Ah, uh, and so and then uh, some examples. Then you can read it and see the last line. Punctuation, in fact, is a labor of love, which brings us back in a way to God's. Ah, uh, and so that line is very significant. Ah, uh, see that is the last point, the seventh point I have mentioned. Punctuation is a labor of love. punctuation cares for the words a punctuation cares for the sentences a punctuations are giving the full meaning of the sentence to the reader see a uh, the punctuation care for the words like a lover cares for his beloved 
the lover will be trying to keep the beloved happy comfortable isn't it ah uh, the lover is very careful about the beloved similarly ah uh, and the lover is very caring similarly punctuation marks are very much punctuations care for the words like a lover cares for the beloved and uh, uh, it helps to identify what the words imply and the punctuation marks makes the meaning of the words complete and in the last line again you can see that punctuation our punctuation marks are like gods see the gods love towards the devotee that even is mentioned here the sorry ah uh, the god cares for the uh, devotee the god loves the devotee cares for the devotee and sim and likewise punctuation cares for the words and so punctuation sir gods themselves coming again the last point coming back to the beginning i'll see the same point in the beginning what was the first point ah he compares comma to gods because both can give breath and take away and then he say, says that punctuation is breath itself ah a comma is breath itself ah the gom uh, the comma giving a pause is breath itself and again in the concluding line coming back to the same point he says that punctuations care for the words like a lover caring for the beloved like the lord caring for the devotee and thus the punctuation marks uh, are again compared to gods and so this is the lesson hope you have understood the lesson the different implications is a very humorous they say how very important ideas are conveyed in a very humorous style and so go through the text and then refer to the notes uh, then i am sure that you will enjoy the lesson as uh, so much for the time thank you